Hello, everybody, and welcome to In the Driver's Seat with Dubizzle. And I have another special guest with me, Ali Ahamoudi, or better yet, known as UAE Supersport, one of the most interesting social media accounts here in the country. And I'm so jealous of the things that he gets to do. Ali, thank you so much for joining us today. Well, thanks for having me. I'm very glad to be here. And this is the first time that you've come down to the hub. So tell us about it. Tell us about your experience that you've had here today. Well, 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 well. I mean, first of all, I strongly believe Let's celebrate that we have such a thing going on in Dubai and in UAE. We all love cars, but to have a facility that will make it very simple, that's exactly what we are looking for. Who wants to buy a car with, uh, with a lot of hassles coming and going? Who would like to sell a car with many hassles? So I've seen the facility. I've seen the cars you guys have, some very interesting cars. Like the one behind us? Yes, 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 yes. Like the one that I came with? Yes, exactly. So, so basically, yeah, yeah, we got the Defender in here and we had uh, other cars. And uh, having this seamless, let's say, buying and selling uh, facility, this is something that I would love to have, I love to share, I love to use, to be honest. Well, that's what we're here for. And you're welcome anytime to come down, anytime you need. Just drop us a DM or give us a call on the number and we'll be more than happy to help you get your next car. I would definitely. Or even help you sell them because I know that you have a lot of them floating around (laughs) as well. But the reason I brought you down here is because, well, like I said before, you've got a very interesting social media account and you do some really, really cool things that make a lot of people jealous, including myself. Now, (laughs) one of the most interesting things that you've done in the past month is you've been drag racing, obviously down at the Aston Marina circuit. Now, when you think of a drag car, you think of a V8 muscle or you think of something that's been heavily modified. I mean, for me, it's a top fuel dragster, but you drag raced a Devo. Yes. You're probably one of the only people on the planet that can say you've done that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's always through that. that. That's very interesting because we raced the Devo against something maybe you won't expect. Something from this era, an electrical car. So I don't know if I'm brown, uh, the pronunciation is, is right. It's a plaid or a plate. Okay. The Tesla plate or a plaid. The one with the more than 1,000 horsepower. So basically, we got the Devo with 1,500 horsepower, the true cons- co- combustion in- engine with 16 uh, cylinder, four turbos, and uh, you know the truck for ourselves. Then we have the Tesla plate. So w- that was not only a huge thing just in UAE, it was actually globally. So these car went head to head and uh, it was uh, one of the best experiences, let's say. I mean, I'm dumbfounded and I'm incredibly <laughs> jealous that you get to do these kind of things because that must be the most in- thrilling experience that anyone's ever done. I mean, I've drag raced, but only in a Camaro, you know, <laughs> but doing it in a Devo versus an electric car with a thousand horsepower, who won? Ah, that's the big question. I would love to say, go watch the video, but I mean, let's say that the Devo got 9.2 in uh, the quarter mile, which was, uh, uh, let's say, the first uh, in, 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 of its time. The Devo never actually was in video, and it was in, the, in, in a drag race, uh, Buda Bugatti Shira. Uh, well, let's say they broke even, one of them. Uh, one in the first time and the second one, one in the, in the second time. So you could say that it's kind of an even match, yes. 1,500 versus 1,000. And a plan, by the way, it was not planned match. <laughs> we don't want to make, uh, make anybody upset, but I mean, it wasn't really planned. I mean, that's, that's, a, that's really a fantastic experience. Here, so as I've long got... as everybody was happy, you know, we have uh, the people of the electrical car and the people of uh, the, you know, the fuel and the combustion engine with us. So. Everybody were happy. Again, an incredible experience that makes us all a little bit jealous inside. But talk us through, I mean, you've obviously, you're Emirati, so you've been here since day one, uh, myself as well. And one of the things that we've had here for a long time is the Bizzle. You know, we celebrated our 17th year of being online this year. And I know that you're an avid user of the platform, but like me, you only use it for one vertical, really. And that's for cars, isn't it? Yes. As a matter of fact, yes, I agree. So yes. what, what's your experience uh, using Dubizzle from that side? Well, uh, honestly, uh, what I, 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 this is kind of a daily routine. Um, I, I kid you not, this is what I do. So basically, I just go and browse. And then I start filtering. So let's find out how many manual V12s do you guys have? <laughs> Maybe something I buy. And you know what I regret? When I see this car, so... Yes, I, mean. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. This happened to me a couple of years ago. I saw 
So for me, I'm a big fan of Volvo. Yes. Um, and I do love the old Volvos, especially the 850s. And I've always wanted one, and the automatic one came up for sale. It was listed for an incredibly low price. Okay. Uh, very clean car, Japanese import, and it was in faded yellow as well. So it's the ultimate Volvo 850 T5R. It was a sedan, so the wagon was preferred. The price is incredible. You know, the guy was asking for less than 40, and I hesitated. I You're closing hesitated. the gaps now? I hesitated, and I kept hesitating, hesitated, and the car was sold. Okay. So I know exactly the pain that you go through because I do it every day to myself. I always look at what cars I want to buy, hesitate, 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 sold, get upset. Join the club. Yeah, exactly. uh, but I mean, this should not continue. I mean, I'm telling you guys, I mean, be aware with Aston Martins, okay, and the Porsche manuals, okay? I mean, I mean, uh, let, let's be frank. Somebody has to talk about the future classic, yes. okay, or the cars that are bargain now, and might be an you know an investment or a plus to drive. You never know this because something you might not find it again. Uh, so I'm, 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 I mean, guys, keep some car for me. But I mean, this is these are the cars I'm looking for now: uh, manual Aston Martins, manual uh, Porsches. Uh, these, the, you guys have some amazing car in the list, which I keep some eyes on it. Yes, yeah. and just make sure that you don't hesitate and buy them when I'll they're worry. at the good price, because otherwise they're gonna, they're gonna they're st gonna start skyrocketing, aren't they? For, I mean, one thing to say, the weather is perfect now for them. This is true. This is very true. Now is the time to buy a convertible, isn't it? Yeah. Well, Ali, thank you so much for joining us. We look forward to welcome you back into the hub at some stage. Remember, we're always here to help you out, and if you ever need to buy or sell a car, the easy way. Come check out all the services that we have here at Divisor Cars. Thank you so much for watching this episode. We'll see you in the next one.